Hi, excuse me, sir. I am so sorry to bother you. I'm trying to sell this watermelon to get some money to get my mom some medication. I feel so embarrassed asking you, but if I can get some something, anything would help. And you can keep the watermelon and eat it or whatever. Well, I don't have much, but um. What What do you have? I have a couple of dollars. You can't eat a that. couple dollars? Yeah. On honestly, for right now, anything would help. And I, like I said, I feel so embarrassed asking. Why did you decide to help me? I went to so many people. Nobody want to help me. Well, everybody needs help. Everybody needs help. Right. And why are you different than other people then because they they don't think that i need help because other people are takers they are takers and you are one of the givers yeah. if you don't mind me asking where are you living right now on the street and how did you end it up like what happened i've got cancer oh i'm so cancer. sorry so lost the wife and kids and you lost the wife and kid how what what is exactly happened well, they gave me six months to live they told you you had six months to live yes is that the doctors I have cancer, a renal cell in my kidneys. In your kid, oh my God. So have, when, when did they tell you and how long do you have now? They told me six months, but it's already been past six months. So, I mean, what, what, I don't wait, know what happened. Wait, you're saying they told you over six months ago and it's already been six months and you're still, six months, yes. and you're still fine. And I'm, I'm still here. Oh my her. God, that is a miracle who who or what like i'm surprised i don't know even know what to say who or why do you think you are still alive what do you think I, honestly i don't know you I, don't know i don't know why and uh, why why do why do you think doctors give you a day that this is your last day how can they know are they god or i i, I think because of, you know I, they took 60 percent of this kidney okay and i've got cancer covering over half of this one wow and, yeah they took my spleen and my gallbladder it's something else I can't even remember, but um, I'm pretty scarred up here. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, but as far as the reports now, when the doctor did the last testing after your six months passed, yeah. did you get the positive result or what are, are they saying now? They're saying that I have another mass up here. And are they going to do a, like a different surgery on it or? They've, I've got to go do some, uh, some tests on it. And since they give you only six months to, to, to tell you like you only had six months to live, did they put you like in a home health or hospice or something? Yes. You were on hospice? Yes. Wow. Yeah, hospice is the ones that told me. Yeah. The hospice, the one that told. So when you were told, you were given that news that this is what's what you have. These are the only months you have left. How did you feel about it? I'm scared. What? And um, You were just scared? Honestly, I, I, I didn't know how to react. You didn't know. Did you actually cry, or did you feel did. emotional? Like I did. I I'm gonna be gone. Things that I never noticed before. Like, like what? Like the trees. You know, we take everything for granted. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't we don't see things that are right there in front of us. Yeah. Wow. Something positive, if you would say to the people right now that are facing cancer, any disease, or they're on hospice, or they're in home health, or they're having any any disease, any type of. Uh, you know, issues with their body, what would you tell them? Something motivational or positive? What can they do to not feel down, not feel lonely, not feel that it's the end? What I, what I do is I, I get up every day and I just do whatever I have to do. I don't, uh, I don't let it beat me down. You know, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die my way. And I'm going to die out looking, seeing stuff. I'm not going to die in a bed yes exactly so the the end days let's say if you did have six months right which you didn't and great i'm i'm happy for you i'm very glad for you so if you did did have those six months and doctors were right about it i think you would have enjoyed those six months the most and the best of your life doing the stuff that you couldn't do right, right. and and whatever your last wish would be you would actually know because there's situations where people are in a car accident and they die on the spot so they don't even get to experience what they wanted to experience right at well, least I was, I was paralyzed for about five months i had a tumor in my spine oh no way and they took that out and i got my legs back so so you were you were literally like on bed i was paralyzed yeah how, for how long you were five on the bed months. five months yeah. and how did you feel about that like what were you like i felt like killing myself oh my god that time you didn't want to live yeah. and when the doctors told you 
you that have was it. they were gonna take the tumor out of my spine and oh my. get my legs back so i did man you you seem like a very very motivational person like i've talked to like so many people and people are going through so much stuff especially living on the street is the hardest thing with so many problems in your body living on the street is the hardest thing you can ever do and you seem so motivated you're like i want to wake up every day be happy live the life i want and that's how everyone needs to be because people are people have everything people have a job people have a home people have money people have everything they're still not happy with their life because it's the inner satisfaction that people do not have and i feel like they need to be like you they need to learn from you that you don't have anything you're living on the streets you you doctors told you you're not gonna live and you're still happy you're still motivated i i love that i literally love that take anything with you you can't take anything with you all right um i want to be honest with you man i don't even know you you're just a random person i met i want to give you that money back and i want to tell you that i went to so many people nobody wanted to help this was actually a social experiment you know what that means right like i'm testing out people finding the right honest and humble person which you are since i found you i wanted to go ahead and give you this watermelon and this is actually not a regular watermelon so once you actually turn it around and see what's in there uh, then we'll talk oh shit yep that's for you man you're since, kidding me no i'm serious since you decided to help me out here i wanted to do yeah, that, I take that you, you what do you I'm mean sorry give it to somebody that can use it are you sure yeah positive Oh wow! Thank you. See that? See, this is the type of person we need, man. I appreciate it, man. At least can I at, at least get a hug, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really appreciate it, bro. Uh, God bless you, man. God and you, you. you take it easy and just just be positive. Thank you. All right, take care.